Good morning, Copper Basin. Today is Tuesday, September 23rd, 2014. I'm Reed O'Neill. And I'm Justice Cole, and this is CBTV News at 9. On today's show, we'll be talking about the upcoming CBTV events, a closing on Aska, and a fake cop. Now let's get started. Within the next couple of weeks, there should be several new shorts on CBTV. Can't give away too much right now, but I can say that Teddy plays a big role in one of them. Shout out to Teddy. Also, there's a student council meeting today at 11.30. All representatives are required to be here, and all members are, recovered, are recommended to come. Let's go over to weather. Today is going to be sunny with highs in the upper 60s and 70s and light winds. Tonight will be clear with patchy fog early in the morning and lows will be in the 40s to lower 50s with light winds. Wednesday is going to be sunny with highs in the upper 60s and 70s and light winds. Now let's get back to the anchors. Thanks for the weather, Riley. Another quick heads up for anyone planning on traveling through the Aska Road area. Shallowford Bridge will be closed from 8 a.m. on Monday, September 29th to Thursday, October 2nd at 4 p.m. This will continue on for a couple of weeks, so if you're planning to head that way, you might want to plan for some delays. Let's go to a PSA. I know everything about everything. I know what my friends are doing all the time. Seriously, I know almost everything because I pay attention. Well, <laughs> most of the time. I know about cars and driving and what it takes to drive safely. Right, but it doesn't hurt to review what you already know. I know what I need before I get in the car. My keys, my phone, my wallet or bag. I know to adjust my seat and check my mirrors and put on my seatbelt and lock the doors before I take off. Did you know 10% of high school students report rarely or never wearing seatbelts when riding with someone else? Okay, a funeral home worker was arrested in Washington State after police said he pretended to be a retired officer for two decades and recently interviewed in, intervened in a fight. Authorities became aware of the suspect, Jim Bailey, last month after he tried to break up a dispute between a couple in a car by identifying himself as a retired cop and telling a witness to call 911. Oak Harbor Police Chief Edgar Green said an investigation determined that 69-year-old Bailey has been pretending to be a retired officer for more than 20 years. The chief said, oh my gosh, a police officer is a misdemeanor in Washington. Now that's all. Let's go to sports. Volleyball game today against Grace is also senior night. That's all for sports. Back to the anchors. Thanks for the sports, Riley. All, also, in addition to that, there will be no football game this weekend. Our next game will be October 2nd against Tennessee Christian at home. Now, let's go for, to lunch. On one, we will be having barbecue with coleslaw, baked beans, fries, peas, and fruit cocktail. Line two, pork roast with gravy, creamed potatoes, sliced carrots, peas, rolls, pears, and fruit cocktail. Both lines include juice and milk. Breakfast tomorrow will be pancake on a stick or a Nutri-Grain bar with yogurt. Now let's go back to the anchors. Lunch sounds good. Just a reminder again, we here at CBTV are always looking for new stories and videos to air. If you have an issue or anything that you want to be aired, let any of us know and we'll get it up for you. Now, let's hear a word from our sponsor.
There's strong, and then there's army strong. It is not just the strength to obey, but the strength to command. Not just strength in numbers, the strength of brothers. Not just the strength to lift, the strength to raise. Not just the strength to get yourself over, the strength to get over yourself. It's more than physical strength. It is emotional strength. There is nothing on this green earth stronger than the U.S. Army, because there is nothing on this green earth stronger than a U.S. Army soldier. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. Find out more at GoArmy.com slash strong. Today's today are Jordan Medeiros, Isaac Campbell, and Emily Pack. Happy birthday to you guys. Key Club dues are due Friday. Hey, Justice, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? I don't know. Tentacles. That's all the time we have for today's show. We'll see you tomorrow on CBTV News and 9.